Good morning. It's hard to believe that the tornado touched down only three days ago because so much progress has been made here at Kathleen Middle School and we have Deputy Superintendent John Hill with us this morning. Thank you so much for waking up. We know you've got a long day ahead of you, but tell us a little bit about how you're feeling today, seeing the progress that's being made here on the middle school. Well, actually, I'm, I'm feeling very encouraged this morning. Uh, there's been a lot of work that's occurred over the weekend, and as you can see, we're, we're making some uh, we're making some significant progress and uh, moving toward getting school back up and running for our students. And for the average person that hasn't seen this damage up close, it looks pretty good, but talk about the damage that was inside over the weekend. Oh, there was a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, it, it was uh, significant uh, flooding, water damage, loss of equipment, loss of technology, uh, you name it, textbooks, furniture, uh, and the building itself uh, took a hit, not only this main building, but the building behind it. Uh, there's actually three structures that took on significant damage. And we know some students are at home crossing their fingers, hoping they don't have to come to school, but you've got maybe some bad news for them, yes. good news for your staff. Yes, let me tell you something, students. We're working as quickly and efficiently and effectively as we can to get you back in school. So. Um, yeah, we'll, we're going to be out today and tomorrow for sure, but hopefully we can get them in school, uh, get them back to some normalcy, and then move on with teaching and learning. Yeah, they're going to be bringing in some portable classrooms here, and we'll keep you updated on when you're going to have to head back to school here soon because you're not off the hook, but a lot of work to be done here. But we're so grateful to see how much progress has been made. Everything you need to know will be on our 10 News app. That's right, Twilon. Thanks for that update.